This is a patient who presents with abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting. Got a CT scan to further evaluate this. We did this with intravenous contrast, and you can see immediately the distal esophagus is distended with fluid. There's fluid in the stomach, which is mildly distended. And also, there's numerous distended loops of small bowel that contain fluid and, and air as well. And some of the distal small bowel here has collapsed. So clearly, we're dealing with a small bowel obstruction. And we look at it a little bit closer, we'll notice that the gallbladder is quite contracted, contains some gas, there's some pneumobilia as well. And right around there, there's a little tract or a fistula between the gallbladder and the duodenum that's filled with air. As we scroll down even further, we can see that in the uh, region of transition right around there, upstream from here, there is a loop of bowel that's mildly distended, it contains a partially calcified structure, and all the bowel loops upstream from that are distended. As we go distal to that partially calcified obstruct structure, all the bowel loops are under distended. So that's the area of transition. Right in that region, we're seeing uh, a partially calcified structure. Put that in the context of the gallbladder having air, having a fistula to the duodenum, having pneumobilia in the uh, biliary system. These findings are classic for gallstone ileus, a type of small bowel obstruction that essentially occurs in the context of a gallstone that's lodged in the bowel, resulting uh, in the bowel obstruction.